And will it see this line or is it gonna sit behind the Jeep? Guys, look at this. Look at this, this is incredible. And I've lost control. Oh wow, that is brilliant. That is brilliant. Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Today we are going to be looking at two things. A brand new update has just come out, 2020.28.5. So we skipped .3 and .4, but sadly, as you can see in the release notes, there is, if they want to open, absolutely nothing new except for some language support. Surely we've got all the languages by now. No, I'm, I'm not sure, but appara apparently not. So what we're really going to be looking at today is the other autopilot safety features in the Model 3 that a lot of people don't know about. Now, if you actually scroll down to the bottom, you're going to get these settings here, which you can turn all off or you can have them on just warnings. Let's go through them all really quickly and we're gonna go and demonstrate them all today as well. Lane departure avoidance, you can have off, warning where it will just chime or assist. And when it's on assist, if you drift out of your lane without indicating, the car will bring you back in and say, hey, put your hands on the wheel or take control please, you're clearly not concentrating and it will pull you back into its lane. That works really well and I'll show you that later. Emergency lane departure avoidance is pretty much the same thing. Uh, blind spot collision warning chime. Basically, if someone's in your blind spot and you're going to either indicate and go into the lane to your right if you're on a dual carriageway, if there's someone there and you haven't spotted it but the car has it will tell you it'll warn you and it will bring you back in we'll try and get that happening today as well and of, of course automatic emergency braking we showed that in the jeremy clarkson video if you haven't seen that this is basically what it is here we go a true test then 30 mile an hour test let's do it hopefully it'll follow the cones down following the cones nicely coming close to him there he is red as you can see and the car comes again to a complete stop and it worked really well we also tried it against some blow-up dolls i'm going to be able to drive at this kid i'm going to pretend i'm not looking at this point and we're going to drive at her at 15 miles an hour and will the car stop or not i've got my foot on the accelerator will the car stop incredible this is going to be a hell of a stop if it thinks it's a person. Oh, it did, oh! Which didn't work quite as well. We're not quite sure why. An obstacle aware acceleration, where basically, if you're at a T-junction and a car just goes by you and you accelerate a bit too early, if you are gonna potentially clip the side of the car or hit anything, the car stops and, and basically stops you accelerating, like, hey, are you sure? And then it lets you continue if you push through it. And we'll try and get that working today as well. We're also gonna be checking to see if they've updated any of the speed stuff recently. We went through a 50 gate that is fairly new that it still said was a 60 and I actually had a viewer say that they've changed it on the map to a 50. So we're going to go back there right now and we're going to see has it updated it, has it changed it or is it still the same. Now this is actually doing way better down here than it's ever done before. It's it's never done this because it's always slammed on because of the cars on the left and I'm actually really impressed with how this is doing this road. It's going a little bit too far to the right to me and you can see there it's braking, pulling itself back over. It did show the cyclist there as well. And will it see this line or is it going to sit behind the Jeep? Guys, look at this. Look at this. This is incredible. Okay, this is actually incredible. It has never done this before. Oh, it's getting too close to the left for me. Yeah, too close to the left there. But that was pretty impressive, actually. Again, automatic emergency braking. If you're coming up to a car like that, it's going to warn you that you're going way too fast to it. It's going to highlight the car in red. And then if you did continue to accelerate, the car would have just braked itself, slammed on, and you would be safe. You can see there it's showing the person cross the road. That was actually really nicely done as well. Uh, I'm not expecting anything big from this software update because obviously it didn't say there was anything big except for new language support. But so far, I'm actually impressed. It's uh, a little bit more stable than it's been before. Let's see how it handles this roundabout here. This bus will go all the way around. Yeah, the bus is going all the way around. And look, I can actually bring it down to zero on autopilot, which is pretty cool. Oh, okay. Or oh, not. <laughs> it, it just uh, aborted right at the end there. It sees that it's red lights. It's not stopping for them at all. So we will come to a stop. And again, Oh, interesting. I actually thought the pole of the traffic light was a person there. Oh, it actually saw a stop sign back there. That 30. Interesting. So that was a 30 sign and it thought it was a stop sign. So that again, that you know, that could be bad in the future when it actually does react to these things. But at the moment, it's not a big problem. We're going to bring autopilot all the way down to 10 miles an hour. There's no one coming. So now you can see that as soon as you get to a roundabout, I knew this was coming. As soon as you get to a roundabout, no matter what, if you're on autopilot, it seems to abort at the moment, which is a real shame. Uh, but obviously it makes sense because it can't do it. Uh, but yeah, it seems to be a lot stricter now. And then previously around this corner, uh, it has it has done it really well. Is it going to continue to do it really well? 
look at that look at that really nice so it has obviously there's the auto steer limited so this is going to be a really good test for when these regulations get a little bit eased because we're going to be able to go back and see how does it react to these rows that we've tested before so let's test some of the uh, safety features then. So the idea of it is basically if you were to drift slightly onto the other lane, uh, it should pull you back in, or at least that is the idea. Uh, but as you can see, I'm getting really close to the middle lane. I'm not going over it, so we're still in our lane and the car's not having any issues. There you go, look at that. So as soon as my wheel touched the line, I didn't go on the bobbles, I just touched the line. You saw it went blue and the car started to pull me back over. Okay, there's no one coming ahead. I'm letting go of the steering wheel. And there we go, look at that, beautifully done, and it's pulled me back into my lane. Here's the new 50 gate, has it updated it to a 50 on here? No, sadly not. Sadly, it's still saying it's a 60. I'm really surprised that that's not updated itself quicker. Okay, will it brake for that car? Yeah, you can see braking for the van as it went past, which is good. And through here, no worries at all. You could see it as well, updating the line on where the traffic lights was. That was good to see that update actively. Let's see what happens if we slightly drift to the left side of the road as if we're going into this lay-by here and I've lost control. Oh, wow, that is brilliant. That is brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Corrective steering applied for your safety. Road departure, uh, uh, I don't know what the, the, the word said there. I think it said detected. That was incredible. It pulled me right back on. I wouldn't have crashed absolute result. Now what we're going to try and do is just on cruise control and I'm going to drift across here on cruise control. There you go, pulling me back. Oh no, interestingly enough, it hasn't. It started to, but then it just kind of allowed me to go straight through, which is uh, a little bit strange. Oh, we've got some cones in front of us. Is the car going to go around them? Oh, it's so close. It actually started to drift around them, but I didn't have the balls to uh, keep that going. So I think it actually would have gone around those if I'd have let it. I have also found that with um, with cyclists, uh, it does do the acceleration thing a lot more. And I think that's obviously because it doesn't want you to accelerate past the cyclist uh, too close. So as you go around them, if you, if you go too close, it will kind of stop you um, from getting too close, which is really good. So like this van is slightly on our, on our road and you can see it actually thinks it's traffic lights. There we go, we got right up close to it. Last second, that was actually, so I had to put my foot on the accelerator because that was actually gonna slam on very, very hard and brake as very, very hard and basically come to a stop. And that is the emergency braking. Uh, so it does see it. However, that was a little bit late for my liking. I rather it warned me a little bit earlier and came to a, a gradual slowdown. However, I think it was slightly confused and I think it was slightly hidden by the traffic lights. Again here, it's gonna favor the right-hand side, being American. And this is what I mean. This is more of the braking I expected. It's kind of this nicer. You can see here, it's trying to find where the edge is or where the end of the traffic lights is. And no problems for it there. It has had issues here before because the road's so wide. You can see, yeah, look, it's hugging the right-hand side of the road. It's not too sure where it wants to go and now it's pulling itself back over. But that's not too bad. We're on the dual carriageway now, and what we're gonna test is going over the lines. I've just floored it past everyone, so there's no one behind us, so we've got loads of space to test this out. So, hands slightly off the wheel, just gonna try and drift across. Will the car allow us? Yes, very strangely, it just allowed me to drift straight across the middle lane without indicating, uh, which is actually a little bit odd. I really wasn't expecting that. Let's test it around this corner. So as we get to the corner, I'm gonna steer slightly, but I'm not gonna steer enough to stay in our lane. Again, as you can clearly see, there is no one around us, so this is perfectly safe to do. And oh, my, my steering's just not quite as good as it should be. Yes, there we go, look at that, perfect. Brought me back into the lane. I'm now gonna oversteer and go left. No, sadly, it didn't stop me there going over from the left. So it kind of works and then it kind of doesn't work. As, you, as I said, the inconsistency of the system. Again, we're allowed to drift across here for some reason and it's happy for us to do it. Really inconsistent, um, but I'm not sure. Again, letting go of the wheel, it just allows me to drift straight across. Even with cruise control on as well, the car does pull me back into my lane correctly like that. To be totally honest, it doesn't do it as much as I would like to. It needs to actually pull me in a little bit more. Uh, there we go, it's still, yeah, so there it just allowed me to drift straight across. And what I'm gonna do is as I get past this van, I'm gonna indicate to the left and I'm gonna see if it warns me at all about it. So here we go, I'm indicating left. It doesn't seem, yeah, there you go, look, it's warned me about it and it said, hey, there's a van there, you probably shouldn't do that. So it just it just shows you visually uh, that there is something there. Let's see how it breaks behind this car, very nicely. 
no worries at all. That was actually really well done. What we're gonna test then on this is this is actually a perfect way to test to see if this left line here uh, is strong enough or obvious enough for the car to pull us across. So let's start just veering over to the left here and we're gonna see how does the car react. I'm gonna keep on going, keep on going. I haven't touched for a long time. Boom, there we go. Pulls us back in, really, really simple. I'm not gonna touch it again and I'm gonna see, will it do it again? If I just kept on driving? Yeah, look at that, brilliant job. And you actually heard that time it did touch. It actually touched and you heard the brrrr of, um, uh, of, the, of the line. And uh, yeah, it warned me because it was like, hey, you didn't react the first time. You haven't reacted the second time there's obviously something up and you heard it do a visual, it did a visual and it did an audible warning, which is really cool. I actually really like it that it, it does both of those. And that shows again that maybe if you had cruise control set and you started drifting, uh, even if you kept on going, it would keep pulling you in and you know that cruise control is also gonna stop you uh, if you get too close to anyone in front. So that's actually really, really good to see. Look at this, McDonald's disinfecting everything absolutely brilliant good job man the one i wasn't able to show very well is obstacle aware acceleration but that is because you have to put yourself in quite a lot of danger to actually get it to do that uh, and i don't obviously want to do it but the others i think i showed you really well and these are kind of hidden secret autopilot safety features that a lot of people including tesla drivers don't know about i've actually had to tell a couple of people to at least put it onto warning i would put it onto assist personally let me know what you think down below about it in the comment section and also tomorrow i'm going to be showing you a new autopilot video on a road i've never autopiloted down before and we're going to see if 2020.28.5 is any different, any better at all. Thank you all so much for watching. A huge shout out to our patrons. There's about 65 of you. We've only got superchargers left for this month. So if you want to become a level three patron and above, you'll get yourself a free mini supercharger in the post. Also, I just want to apologize. I haven't been able to keep up with the bi-daily uploads. Lots of personal things going on at the moment, including moving house. Yes, again. So uh, I do apologize about that and I will keep up to it as best I can. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, drive safe.